Welcome Virgo. Okay, so we are going to get a message for you from postcards from Spirit. Okay, see what Spirit wants to say. Whispers of Healing Oracle cards we'll be using to look further into that and Osho Zen Tarot as well. So please stick around till the end because we'll address the um, postcard again and see how it all ties in. Okay, and we'll give you some help along the way. Hopefully. Okay, Virgo. One card for Virgo. One postcard for Virgo, please, from Spirit. What would you like to say to Virgo, Spirit? Mm. Spirit is just finding the right card, and there it is. Okay. Virgo, dear you, you are in such good shape right now that we're all doing a happy dance. In this moment, you have the power to make a choice to get with spirit and co-create a miracle. You may wonder where all this is going. Sorry, you may wonder where this is all going. But if you want to manifest your desires for the highest good, you need to stay focused on the now. All power is in the present moment. Ask yourself, what are your dominant thoughts now? How is your conscious contact with the divine? Are you plugged in or are you trying to do life all by your small self? Get rid of negative energy now. Resentments be gone. Forgiveness and love enter, please. You can do your life beautifully and create your most powerful future right here, right now, in this moment. Aren't you thrilled to know you have a huge sharing section over here? Love and hugs always love it and I just want to say about it saying about your small self it's not a put down at all it's just that as a human we, we're quite small okay but if we're aware of our true conscious selves we are huge and we connect it in okay so please don't take offense to that okay right Virgo, let's have a look into this further. I put that over there and I want to leave it here. No, putting them back. Okay, we want the first card for Virgo, please, in relation to this reading. Virgo. Reliable. Okay. <laughs> I feel like, Virgo, sometimes you feel like you need to be completely reliant upon you, yourself because you can't rely on anybody else, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. This is another card. I just felt like I needed to keep shuffling them. This is upside down, so the second card, I don't know what it is yet, but... Yeah, there's something about this reliable. I mean, it could be about you being reliable, but I, if it is, Virgo, I feel like it's about you being reliable and serving yourself. Um, serving your human self, in a sense. Because I feel like there's been some sort of disconnect, in a sense. I don't know why I keep saying, in a sense. In a sense, innocence, 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 right? There's this innocence about you that um, I feel like you don't feel as reliable. Mm, interesting. Okay, so receptivity and slowing down. Okay, so this is about you being receptive to open, opening up, okay, and allowing in this connection with spirit because there is this closing off. Um, it could be that if you have um, 
connected in with spirit before and things didn't go the way you wanted them to go, which is um, not always the best way uh, for, for your soul journey, okay, that you may have um, decided to just rely upon yourself, okay. Um, and this slowing down here, um, yeah, see, there's... It's so funny because when I was shuffling your cards and preparing for this reading, I felt this real sense of hurry up, hurry up, like this sort of impatience. And um, and I feel like it's important for you to slow down so that you can actually um, be aware of each step because there's something to be learned every step of the way on your journey and everyone's journey, right? So... This is about you, it's, it's, like, it's like being a turtle walking along the beach, right, that has been in its shell for so long that it's decided to come out and it's slowly walking to the beach, but it's like it wants to hurry to the water because it's been deprived of the water, which is its natural environment for such a long time, okay, but it's sort of like it's sort of like embarking on this new journey and you have to really take your time to take one step at a time because, you know, with this turtle being in um, the shell for so long, it really needs to start stretching its legs out and, you know, um, actually allowing its legs to work um, and get the function fully so that they are able to get in the water and swim because if they go too fast and haven't exercised all those muscles they may not swim as well as what they need to especially in times of um, danger okay so unconditional love wow unconditional love first and foremost for yourself virgo you don't seem to, some of you, I feel like have closed off from that. This is you being receptive to that unconditional love as well. Not being so critical towards yourself. Um, also, not being so critical towards other people, even if it's just in your mind. Especially people who may have done you harm before. Okay, um, it doesn't mean you need to go and see them and give them a big hug. Not at all. It's just in your mind because... If there's a record that you're playing in your mind about someone who has hurt you before, um, this is still emitting a vibration and it's bringing more to you of that same type of thing. Okay, so if, if say, you've been in a relationship and it didn't end well and you have animosity towards that person, um, animosity, not animosity, sorry, I just realised then, anyway um then you know any relationship after that if you're holding on to those things is going to end up not necessarily with the same result but it's going to be difficult for you to be receptive to love okay to you opening up enough to have a fulfilling relationship because that unconditional love has been caged up okay a little bit like the turtle being in its shell for too long. All right, so we've got tuning in that has come out here. I do feel like Virgo, for some of you, meditation would help immensely with you being able to tune out those dark and nasty thoughts, okay, be it, again, about yourself or someone else, okay. And I know that some of you are sitting there and you don't want to, you, like I say, you don't have to, Those that person doesn't even need to know. It's just, it, you know, it, it could even just, at, to begin with, Virgo, be a matter of you, every time you think of that person and you feel that uh, about them, that you just go in another direction and think, not even about that person, think about something you enjoy, think about something, you know, someone you love, okay, someone you really do enjoy being around, change that for yourself so that you're not focusing and sitting in that energy okay suppression yeah um i feel like this sort of i'm getting this turtle energy from this of you hiding away 
and um and kind of like as though there's been some sort of decision for you to punish yourself in a sense like keeping yourself locked locked up like okay I'm not gonna let myself um expand like I once did because of you know whatever the outcome was okay and I feel like this is preventing you from um really being able to live a full life part of this is about protection um I also feel like there's sort of this burden of carrying everything on your shoulders and um, and I really do feel like part of this tuning in and this receptivity is allowing yourself to receive help, okay, in whatever form that may be, all right, because I feel as though you, you may have turned in but what you've done, oh, I see, I see. It's like you've turned in, which can be a real positive thing generally, but you've turned in so far that it's actually, you've actually begun to suppress yourself and you've taken that too literally, okay? And, um, and this is preventing you from receiving unconditional love. Okay, and giving it, of course, but receiving it too. Okay, so let's have a look here. Sensitivity. Mm. Um, there's this need here, Virgo, for you to <clears throat> maybe put yourself in someone else's shoes, that if you were in that situation, how would you feel about something? Okay. Um, there's sort of this feeling of turning a blind eye to something, not really wanting to see things how they really are. And, um, and I don't really, I feel like that's kind of like clouded your vision in a sense. Um, give me two cards for sensitivity. Oh yeah, sweet. That was easy. <clears throat> Maturity and Thunderbolt. So something really massive happened unexpectedly for you. Okay, and um, this this thunderbolt moment, um, I feel this is the result of you turning in and suppressing, um, suppressing your emotions, suppressing absolutely everything, and and it's sort of like you've decided now not to open up. It's like no, I did that before. I'm never ever ever doing that again. But it's it's. It's blocking you. It's blocking this unconditional love within you, for you. It's not helping you in any shape or form, even though you believe it is because you've convinced yourself of that. It's not helping. Okay. Um, we have, with this maturity card here, this is a new beginning in um, whatever it is, business, love this is you learning this is you learning from um the past and doing things differently because you've grown you there, there's been a lot of growing that you have done here and um maybe maybe through this thunder thunderbolt moment this has made you more sensitive and and this could very well be why you've closed yourself off but um in order for you to grow, you need to open up here, Virgo. I feel like you're holding yourself back. Um, I feel like for some of you, you need to get out in nature and um, connect again. Because there's, again, this disconnect here. Okay. Um, yeah. There's something else though, there's, there's, there's something hidden, oh not hidden, I don't know if hidden is the right word, it's like you've tapped something away so deep 
that you 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 can't even bring yourself to look at it. It's like it's it just yeah. What I'm seeing is this coin. I'm seeing a coin get tucked away. You know how you have a piggy bank. It's like that, but it's almost like there's a compartment within the piggy bank that you can tuck a coin into, like a real treasured coin, and um, you've tucked it in, but you've done it because the coin has brought pain. You know, it, 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 it's almost like, say, like the coin was given to you by someone really precious from you, and then sort of like, because I'm seeing an ancient coin, like a really old coin that's quite very valuable, um, but it was given to you by someone who really meant something to you. There's some pain involved with the coin, and um, so you've tucked it away, and you know it's there. No one else knows it that's there and would never be able to tap into it or find it because you've hidden it away so deeply that, um, yeah, it's just not, no one knows it's there. Um, and... You don't want to bring it out because if you do, you're, you're, you're going to have to tap into that pain. It's going to, because associated with the pain, uh, sorry, associated with the coin is the pain. So you've tucked it away. And that's metaphorically, honestly. But, yeah, I hope that makes sense. But that's what I'm being shown, yeah. And that's, I feel like, what this sensitivity is. This person kind of burying themselves in the, in the, in the woods, in the, in the terrain. So that they, it's, it's kind of like not, not, not wanting to be seen, but not wanting to see. Yeah. Whew. Okay, so, but there is a new beginning here for you, Virgo, and um, because look, she's got her eyes closed again, even though this new beginning awaits you, it's right here, and it, and, and it could actually be in the process of happening, um, but you've still got your eyes closed because you don't want to see, and if you want this to succeed to its fullest, be it a relationship, a business, um, a new venture that you're on, could be a new home, whatever it is, right, um, then you need to open your eyes and you need to look at what it is that you need to look at no matter how hard. Bearing it doesn't, doesn't help. This is all it does. It stops you from growing. Okay? So, next card for Virgo, please. Thank you. That's how I wanted it to come out. We've got flow here. This is this. You needing to go with the flow, okay, because you're fighting the flow at the moment because of you're afraid. You're afraid of this happening again. You're afraid of something coming, and, and, and I feel like this is the burden that you carry from this thunderbolt moment. It weighs heavy on you, man weighs heavy on you and it's sort of like there's this projection out towards other people but it's but it actually sort of like it's sort of like being in the room and projecting out on other people but it it ricochets off the um, walls of the room and it comes back and hits you and the, and it's this continual cycle of that happening flow tell me two cards about flow for virgo please that's one card oh i love that what's that we well, yep um yep see look at these two contrasting cards here okay this harmony you've got this harmony here and i love that this is what i feel like if you immerse yourself in the flow it will bring you harmony but you're afraid of that and you get in your head about it and you stop yourself from doing that it's like you're continuously swimming upstream but the current is too strong and it's pulling you down. And um, yeah, this is just out of fear, really, I, I feel. Um, you're so in your head about it. And, and what's happening is that, you know, when you're, you're thinking and even speaking um, things about this situation, 
you're polluting the air around you and whatever new beginning there is for you if you want that foundation to be solid this is not going to help okay but this flow is will bring the harmony because because the thing is Virgo is that you want the harmony you want to experience that and you want to create that but you can't create that with this and this okay and turning in and and you know turning in in a negative way because we can turn in but we can turn in too far you know and it's kind of like you coming out of your shell again and learning to walk again learning to go to the water and swim again and the water represents emotions right and so this is about you learning to bring your emotions up again not bearing them but bring them up okay and look at them and and experience them it's the only way that you're going to dissolve those emotions. Because if whatever this has been, if this has happened and it's still causing um, triggers within you, then um, it's still impacting you, okay? It's so funny because I just want to go throw away like, ugh, like that and that's what I feel like your energy is, okay? Um, commit to happiness. I love this. Look at this. This is what came out of flow, right? Commit to happiness here, Virgo. Um, because at the end of the day, this is what you truly, truly deserve, is happiness. We all do. You know, there's something inside of you that puts a stop to it. You've got this wall up and you've got the door shut. It's not locked, but I feel like it's shut. And you might open it every now and then, peek through and be like, oh yeah, what's out there? And then it's like, <gasps> no. Because remember this? Don't forget. Yeah, it's not helping you. Not at all. Okay, so two cards for Commit to Happiness, please, for Virgo. Commit to Happiness, two cards. Oh, I forgot to... Oh, I've got two cards here that weren't added in. Okay, let's start again. Sorry, Virgo. That was my, my bad. Okay, Commit to Happiness for Virgo. Two cards, please. I, I, I feel like for I, 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 I feel like for some of you you um you at some point in your life there was um you were happy and and it felt like you had everything you ever wanted and the thunderbolt moment happened and um and now you're you won't commit to that again you don't want to commit to it again because it it, it was the fall was so hard that um yeah you won't it's sort of like you've made this decision not to do that to yourself again but in turn what's happening is you're holding yourself back from having an even more fulfilling life okay um we have consciousness here this is a new beginning in truth um you being more conscious of of creating what it is that you want to create how you want to create it because it's sort of like before you created your life by default and it just happened to work out but it didn't really because this happened so the foundation was never solid to begin with because if it was you it would have seen you through anything in a sense right so um i feel like this is now this conscious creation that that is a very important for you to um It's important for you to lead from this place. And in order to lead from this conscious, creative place, you need to commit to happiness. Okay? That needs to be your commitment for you to get into this zone here. Okay? And this this kind of stuff is doesn't work. It really doesn't help at all. Okay? Um... Yeah. Okay. One more card for Commit to Happiness for Virgo, please. Oh, it's gone across the room. Hang on a minute, Virgo. Okay. So look at this. Playfulness, right? Letting out this playful person within you. Um...
some of you hold back from having fun it's it's sort of like when you're ready to let loose and have fun there's this this reminder inside of you that goes don't have too much fun don't have too much fun because remember when you thought you had it all and you thought everything was okay this happened so don't have too much fun right and you there's just such a sense of holding back um I also feel like some of you may feel like you deserve to be punished in a sense. Um, or feel like you don't deserve to have fun. Whether that's out of protection or punishment, I'm not too sure. But... The other thing I do want to say is that for some of you, you could be partying so hard that you're not tapping into this consciousness at all, okay? It's sort of like you've gone, I'm, this is, it's like partying is your idea of happiness because you're having a good time when you're out of it and, you know, all that kind of thing, but it's not true happiness. That's, that's not really where it comes from. It's not conscious happiness. It's unconscious happiness. It's not real. Because in order to get there, you have to fill yourself with substances again. And generally more than what you did the time before because you become resistant to it. Okay, so this is about you consciously creating this happiness, okay? Consciously committing to this happiness and understanding that playfulness can happen without any substances whatsoever. Okay, Okay, next card for Virgo here, please. What else? What else in relation to this for Virgo? Hidden blessings. Love it. I love this. This is beautiful. See, this is the thing, Virgo, and this is what life's all about, right? We don't know what's around the corner. You know, and I, I do, um, I, I know that spirit is bringing through these messages for you because there are hidden blessings waiting for you. Um, some of you are afraid of those blessings, though, because of what has happened. Um, but they are there. They are there, ready and waiting. It's just whether you are going to be receptive to them or not, right? Um, yeah, give me two cards for Hidden Blessings for Virgo, please. Tell me more about this. One, well, um, here we go again. Hang on, Virgo. <laughs> okay, so we've got them both upside down here. So the one that landed on the ground is past lives. It's kind of like there's, um, you know, we can have these past lives, right? But I feel like, and this has been coming up recently, which is pretty interesting, um, because with the energies the way they are now on earth um, and with our vibration as humans, right, um, it, it's sort of like we can have one lifetime, but it's as though we can live many lifetimes in the one. Okay, we have that much, like time has sped up so fast now that that's what it's like. Okay, and so um, it's it's almost as though whatever happened before it's like that was a whole entire lifetime and now you have the ability to begin a new lifetime if you so choose okay and this is where the hidden blessings are this is what awaits you here Virgo so um, I feel like this stubbornness within you of holding back um, and, and I don't mean that meanly because that's you out of protection because you feel like this is what you need to do to protect yourself. Um, that when you drop that um, and allow this flow to happen, this is what is going to bring through the hidden blessings, okay? And this here, this last card here is beyond illusion, okay? So this, I, I, I feel like you tapping into this consciousness um, will take you beyond anything that you could ever, ever, ever 
have dreamed of, okay? It's like, it's almost like if, if you were to be told what um, is waiting for you, what these hidden blessings are, you would believe it's an illusion. You wouldn't believe it was real, which is why it hasn't been revealed to you, okay? Because it seems so, so surreal, but it's right there. It's right there, Virgo, and it's right there because you deserve it. The only thing that's missing here is you not believing you deserve it. So what happens is you deserving it is over here and you not deserving it is here and it keeps going like this and it keeps missing each other. So it's a time for you to get into alignment with that so it can connect and come together, okay? So let's have a look at your postcard again. Dear you, you are in such good shape right now that we're all doing a happy dance. In this moment, you have the power to make a choice to get with spirit and co-create a miracle. You may wonder where this is all going. But if you want to manifest your desires for the highest good, you need to stay focused on the now. All power is in the present moment. Ask yourself, what are your dominant thoughts now? Yeah, right? So this here, and not focusing on this, not focusing on what went on in the past, being in the now, where hidden blessings are. Anyway, okay, sorry, where was I? All power is in the present moment. Ask yourself, what are your dominant thoughts now? What beliefs are you motivated by? Do you have clarity right now? How is your conscious contact with the divine? With the consciousness, how is that? Are you plugged in or are you trying to do life all by your small self? Get rid of negative energy now. Resentments, be gone. Forgiveness and love, enter please. Yeah. Unconditional love, right? Allow it to enter. Mm -hmm. um, you can do your life beautifully and create the, your most powerful future right here, right now, in this moment. Aren't you thrilled to know you have such a, you have a huge cheering section over here? Love and hugs always. Yes, and they are. They're just waiting for you to get there. <laughs> it's like, come on, Virgo. <laughs> um, so yeah, Virgo, it's all there for you. It's just whether you, you are going to open yourself up to take it or not. Okay, Virgo, I'll leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.